Ah, fight for life, fight for love, fight for freedom. Those qualities very often are not delivered to you in a golden plate. Sometimes you have to take proactive action to go and get them. The first place where you can start encouraging, developing, protecting these qualities is in your own life, in the circle of your body, your personal space, your personal environment, the choice that you make and so on. So when some people come into your life and try to control what you are doing, try to stop you, try to deprive you from the basic human rights that you were born with, what do you think you have to do? You have to fight for it. You have to defend it. Those soft qualities like love, like freedom, like life force, life power inside of you. Nobody has the right to rob you from them. Nobody, not a family member, not a lover or partner, not some friends. Nobody. It's a basic human right. This is why it's established in human consciousness as something that you are allowed to own because it's a direct connection between you and the spirit. And so when some people come into your spirit, into your flow, into your energy and tell you what you are allowed to do or not do along those lines, what do you think you will have to do, to sustain, to keep these qualities inside of you? Deprivation is a big deal. You know, parents depriving their kids from love. Our partners, lovers depriving each other from touch, from pleasure, from love. Why is this happening? It's because the moment you cut people from these sources, they end up tamed. They end up contained. Their life force dies. Their life force is being killed. And so they are easier to control. And so in the process of expansion, in the process of freedom, in the process of creating free thinkers on this planet, what do you think are the qualities that we need? We need to feed each other with these qualities. We need to empower each other into these higher realms of bliss and joy and love and freedom and life force in our systems. It's, these are qualities that we have to fight for inside of us. You arrive in a big city and everything is you know, contained within commercial structures, feeding you junk food and locking you within spaces that are noisy, polluted, toxic. What do you think you have to do about it? You have to go and fucking fight. Fight to sustain those qualities inside of you. You arrive to a big city, the first alignment, the first place that you have to come in contact with is yourself in the relationship with this big reality that you are in. Where is the juice? Where are you, are you going to access love, power, joy, bliss? Where are you going to get those qualities? Are they inside of you? If they are outside, in the form of where is the food? Where is the healthy stuff? If life is trying to deprive you from these qualities, it is your job, it is your right to go and conquer them. Get them back into your system, do whatever it takes, but don't let anyone, anything, any system rob you from your basic human rights. It is in your power, it is in your joy. You were born with this right for self-determination. Love, life force, bliss, freedom are divine qualities that you are allowed to have in your existence. Of course, stay safe. Of course, don't do stupid things that might put your life in danger, that might lock you in a jail. Don't do that. But within the realms of what you can conquer, within the stream of life force that you can follow, where are the places where you can access more of these qualities, more of this freedom? And sometimes it is stretching a little bit the limit, stretching the boundary. But what I want to tell you, which is very important, it is that those qualities very often don't get delivered to you on a golden plate. Very often you have to fucking fight. You have to defend your territory. You have to use willpower. You have to use control over your personal space, territory, over your choices. If somebody comes into your life and tries to deprive you, stop you, lock you in, control you. What do you think is the healthy response? What do you think you're supposed to be doing? And those qualities, this is the thing to understand, which is really powerful, it is that it is your right. It is your cosmic right, it's your galactic right. It is your human right, your basic human right to be in touch with your being, with yourself, with your power, with your life force inside of you. 
this life force that you were born with, nobody has the right. Nobody can rob you from it. No matter what, as long as you are alive, this engine of life force, this miracle of you being alive, is going to stay inside of you for as long as you are alive. This relationship with your spirit, with yourself, with your magic, is with you all the time. Your relationship to the planet, to humankind, to the spirit, to life force, to other human beings, relating from a place of love and power and joy and freedom. All these qualities, all these choices that you can make hundred times a day, keep on moving forward into serving them, into empowering them, into bringing them into your life and empowering them in other people around you. Every time you see love, every time you see life force, every time you see freedom, encourage them in your social circles, in your systems, in what you develop, in your businesses. These are choices that you make. What are the values, the qualities that you want to defend? What do you stand for? Ask yourself these questions. And if you don't know, here are some ideas. Love, life force, freedom. That's it. Anchor them into your system. And you say, these are the values I stand for. I will fight for them. It doesn't mean killing yourself, but it means, it means investing your life force, your life power, your determination, your actions in that direction. Do you get that? I know you do. Life force, love, freedom, all these qualities to you, the planet, to humankind. I love you.